I know I'm shivering now, but that's part of my body keeping me warm. The feeling, the sense of elation, hard to put into words, pure joy. Just so incredibly grateful. It's the best feeling. It's the best. Do you ever find yourself lying in bed? It's way too early, but your brain's online, your body's still tired, you want to stay under the covers. But you've been tossing and turning, and it's been hours now. One way that I find to counteract that, that monkey mind, that busyness, that chatter, is by coming back into the body and becoming present. One way that I know that I can become present is through breath work. Counting breaths in and out brings us into the present moment. Another way for me is the cold. You have no choice but to be present. Here it comes, woo! It's gonna be magic this morning. Oh, I could have just had a cold shower, but thought I'd share this amazing morning with you guys. I don't classically suffer from depression or anxiety, but there have definitely been moments in my life when I have felt frustrated. And that tends to come when I'm not living alignment with where I want to be by taking a step and building momentum i then become the architect i'm no longer a passenger but i am in control of the direction or at least working towards something and cold exposure for me offers me that impetus by showing myself proving to myself that i am capable of doing things if i set my mind to them then i can implement that into my life and it spills over Yes, I have to invest energy to get into the shower, to get into a beautiful lake like this, but it gives back. I get a compound interest on that initial investment. By going into the cold, I then get that release of dopamine, I then get a surge of adrenaline, and then that then carries me through into other parts of my day. There is a beautiful analogy about a bicycle, and a bike is notoriously difficult to balance at low speed or or get started initially once we have that momentum it's a lot easier to control and steer and even if we were to pedal in the wrong direction as long as we maintain that momentum we can then start to pedal back into the right direction a better direction and that's something that i like to think about is congruent with life if i take a small step that can then start to build momentum into other aspects of our life. Just having a couple of minutes, concentrating on my breath, extending the exhales, relaxes my mind and puts me into a more parasympathetic state. You might have heard of it as rest and digest. I feel a lot more connected. I'm operating on a slightly different frequency. Putting ourselves into that state before we go into the cold is a good idea because we don't want to exacerbate the stress of the cold by being stressed on land. It brings composure, it brings a sense of peace and that's what I'll aim for when I go into the cold carrying some of this stillness from land into the water. Practices such as breath work, such as meditation and cold exposure force us to come back into the present moment when we are counting our breaths or when we are forcing ourselves into a situation such as cold exposure, we have no option but to be present. When we get thoughts of depression, it can often be because we are living too much in the past. And the same with anxiety. When we find ourselves overwhelmed, it's often because we're living too far ahead. By incorporating some of these practices, bringing ourselves back into the present moment, we have no option but to be here now. When I am in the present, I feel the most alive. There is a joy, there is a playfulness to being here now. When you reach a flow state, when you're doing something that you really enjoy and you're captivated by, then time just lasts forever. And this is akin to what I experienced in the cold. 
there are some amazing things that happen when we come into nature by being out here barefoot connecting with the ground we are earthing so we get rid of all the the static ions that we build up throughout the day but also when we submerge ourselves in a body of water that also helps to dissipate or dispel that charge also for my mind it allows those thoughts and it allows that prattle that static that noise to dissolve and i'm no longer concerned by the things that worried me or troubled me before i got into the water the person who gets out is a lot more focused a lot clearer a lot more energized with life and none of this stuff has to feel woo woo or out there or hippy dippy it's just a tool that we can use to help us in the rest of our life so that we can be more present be more focused and give attention to the things that need attention and understand that not every thought that comes into our head do we have to get hold of look at we can just let some of these thoughts drift on by and like we would train the body by training the mind also we can take that that sharper more acute mind into other tasks that we would see benefit from i encourage you to bring more aspects into your daily weekly routine that bring you into the present moment and make you feel alive as well as the rush of feel-good endorphins it really makes you appreciate the simple things in life such as when i go home and have a warm shower a warm shower has never felt so good and the same with a cup of coffee afterwards If you are interested in cold exposure, adventure, getting out, exploring more of what this human vehicle is capable of, please feel free to drop a like and also consider subscribing for more content and let me know what you would love to see in the future. Wishing you nothing but love, health and happiness. Peace.